When I was 20 years old, I worked as a pizza delivery driver for Domino's Pizza. And I remember pretty much every day before I went to work, I would light up and get high. I would smoke my weed and I'd bring the food to the customer. And then on the way back to the store, I would spark up again and get even more high. Because at this point in my life, sober me, sober, like my reality, just being sober, I couldn't deal with it. I was depressed and anxious. I needed that high and that I needed to use the weed to cope with my pain, with my shitty reality. I was escaping through weed. I was escaping through huh, the hub, through video games. For the last three years, I had been addicted to weed, nicotine, beating my meat. I had no purpose anymore. I had just dropped out of college as well. Like this had to be the worst year of my life, hands down. Dropped out of college later in that year, enrolled in a new college, but ended up flunking out of that one because the only thing that mattered to me in life was getting high, feeling some sort of pleasure through <laughs> or, or playing video games or binge watching Netflix or scrolling on social media. So at this point, I had wasted the last three years of my life. I barely even remember those years of my life because I was foggy the entire time. It's, it's just so cloudy. I was always high, so I don't really remember what I did. But I know all I was doing was chasing pleasure because of how depressed I was. And it was just an endless trap. It was an endless cycle. But then later that year, I had something happen to me that literally changed my life forever. I was with a girl at the time. I had a massive crush on this girl. Like I really liked her. She was into all the same shit as me. She liked video games and smoking weed. So we'd smoke weed together and bond over that. So stupid looking back on it. But anyway, back then I was trying to get in her pants, right? I'm trying to have sex with her. And I remember one night we're getting intimate with each other and my meat wouldn't get up. My stick would not get solid. So I could not have sex with with her. I had ED. You know how fucking embarrassing that was? If this has happened to you, bro, I feel for you because it is so embarrassing. Chances are you already heard this story, but hey, I'm gonna tell it again. And look, I remember being so awkward, like, oh shit, I'm sorry, I gotta go home. Imagine that, you're like in the moment, you wanna have sex, but for some reason it's not working. You're soft. You would think that, oh, like, oh, Matt's gay, he can't get it up. Bro, we already know I was so addicted to the hub at this point that that is why I couldn't get it up. I was too addicted to the pixels on the screen. I was a cuck, and I'm not even afraid to fucking admit it. I was a cuck. How pathetic is that? I remember going home that same same night and I went on the hub and it got up so I was able to huh to myself so now I'm fucking confused right okay I can get it up by myself but when I was with that girl nothing happening no blood flow so what is wrong with me I actually started digging and went on Google and started searching shit and came across no fap. So discovering no fap changed my life forever. And it allowed me to not waste my 20s. But hey, it goes much deeper than just no fap. All right, I'm gonna get to it. But I remember I was literally on such a shitty path that I was going to end up wasting my 20s. Like it was gonna happen. I was gonna wake up at 30 and realize, oh fuck, I'm still doing the same shit that I was doing at 20. But I looked myself in the mirror and I said, I'm about to be 21. It's time to be a fucking man. So let me give you five ways to not waste your 20s. So the first way to not waste your 20s is to develop self-control and to quit your addictions. I realized as I was turning 21 that I was nowhere close to being a man. I looked like a little boy. I acted like a little boy. I lacked self-control. I was addicted to all that bullshit. And all I wanted was to become a man. I wanted to be a strong, masculine figure. But how was I gonna do that with all these addictions? Think about it. There is no strong man out there who lacks self-control. There is no man out there who is addicted to his vices. Strong man, I should say. There are plenty of men out there, but they're all weak. They're just, they're just little boys. It's the saddest thing in the world to see like a 30, 40 year old man just having wasted his 20s, still being addicted addicted to the same bullshit. If you want to not waste your 20s, you must quit your addictions. And I realized that, so I stopped smoking weed. I quit my nicotine addiction. Like, I'm gonna call out some of my friends right now, high school buddies, I should say. Like, if they're watching this, bro, good. You need to hear this. I was just with them the other weekend and they're still smoking the same little nicotine vapes that they smoked back in high school. Just like I did back in high school with them. They still haven't quit. We're seven years later at this point and they're still doing it. It's so pathetic. You cannot call yourself a man if you are a slave to this little nicotine vape or weed or even the hub, any of it. You must quit them. And you feel way better once you do, bro. You feel like, you actually feel like a man once you do. I feel so much better about myself having quit those 
addictions, having developed some self-control. It's like, why are you letting those things just ruin your life? Why are you letting those things just run your life? You'll just be a slave forever. You'll wake up at 30 and realize, damn, I'm still doing this shit. It's pathetic. That's really what it came down to for me. I was like, bro, it's time to mature. It's time to grow up and become a freaking man. And I cannot consider myself a man unless I have this self-control, unless I quit these stupid, smelly vices and addictions. It's time for you to do the same, bro. I know it's not easy. It's not supposed to be easy. Just do it. You got this. The second way to not waste your 20s is to avoid the party and hook up lifestyle. I used to be that dude that would live for Friday and Saturday night. Like my whole week was miserable, but the only thing keeping me going was, oh, I get to go out and drink with my buddies on Friday night. I get to go get fucked up at the club, go chase some random smelly degenerate woman. That's what kept me going, bro. And if that's you, just cut that shit out. It's not worth it. It is unfulfilling. It will never fulfill you. Making a fool of yourself, getting wasted drunk, bro, that's not cool. It's childish. Like I said, it comes down to turning yourself into a more mature, masculine man. None of this childish baby shit. We're past that. You don't want to waste your 20s being a kid. No, you want to grow up and become a man in your 20s. So stop chasing degenerate women around the club. Stop living for Friday and Saturday night. There is more to life than that. I actually became way more happy once I stopped going out on weekends. It's actually more fulfilling to just stay in, work on yourself, maybe sleep more. Oh, but Matt, you're missing out on all the fun. You're not going to the club and having fun. Like, bro, fuck you. That's not even fun. How is that fun for you? Because the rest of your life is shitty. That's why it's fun for you. I'm not gonna be that dude that wakes up in his 30s and is still going to the same bars as when he was 20. No, you don't wanna be that guy, bro. You don't. Fuck that. You'll be that 30 year old who still hasn't found a loving, healthy relationship because he just chases degenerate, stinky women in the club instead of actually bettering himself in his 20s. You know that advice people give? Oh, just have fun in your 20s. YOLO, right? That's the worst advice you could take because in your 20s, you do not want to just waste them away having fun. Just have fun in your 20s. It's not even fun. No, you want to be building towards a better life. You want to be delaying gratification. That is why you're on self-improvement. You want to be mastering yourself, quitting your addictions, developing self-control, becoming a freaking man and not some child boy who goes out on weekends and chases women and gets wasted drunk and makes a fool of himself. No, that's childish, bro. That is so childish. But anyway, the third way to not waste your 20s is to build your body. So many people waste away their 20s and neglect their body, neglect to actually get in the fucking gym and build some biceps. So then they wake up when they're 30 and realize, oh shit, I'm out of shape, I'm flabby, I'm soft from all that beer I've been drinking, and then realize, wait, it's actually a lot harder to get in shape when I'm 30 than it is when I'm 20. That's why you start now, you start in your 20s because it is so much easier to build that muscle in your 20s. And then you build the good habit of going to the gym and it just carries over for the rest of your life. At the same time, do you really think you're you're gonna attract the right person into your life if you're flabby or skinny, if you're a fat piece of shit. No, no, you have to build that attractive physique. Just like you enjoy seeing a girl with an attractive physique, just like you want your future wife to be an attractive girl. Like, bro, do you think she wants some flabby piece of shit? Fuck no. Build your body in your 20s. Your future self will thank you for it. And you may actually attract the right girl into your life because of it. The last thing I'll say about your body is it literally just comes down to becoming stronger. Growing up, becoming a man. Build your body, build your physique, and build that muscle so you can actually command more respect. You can be more confident. And like I said, attract your future wife into your life. Because she doesn't want an out of shape piece of shit. It's the harsh truth. The fourth way to not waste your 20s is to live for yourself and to stop doing things for other people's validation. I was so guilty of this. I was on a path that, oh, my parents would approve of, oh, society would approve of, but I deep down didn't want to do it. I didn't want to be in school. I didn't. I didn't want to get a college degree. I ended up doing it just because I was living for other people's opinions. Like, fuck that, bro. You're never going to be fulfilled if you just live for other people, if you do what your parents tell you to do all the time. If you're going down a path right now in terms of your career, maybe you're doing a business, whatever it is, maybe you're in school, if you don't even like doing it, then why are you doing it? It's because of the validation from other people. It's because society would approve of this path or whatever, bro. But you need to live for yourself. What do you want? Deep down, what do you want? That is what I realized. And that is why I started this YouTube channel. I am tired of just doing what other people want. I wanna do what I want because otherwise I would have wasted my entire 20s doing something I didn't wanna do, working a job I didn't wanna work, all because of the opinions of other people. So when you say, fuck the opinions of other people, I'm gonna do what I wanna do, one of the best feelings in the world and it's also a great way to not waste your 20s. Now going off this point, the fifth way to not waste your 20s is to take more 
risks. And when I say take risks, I don't mean, oh, let's go gamble all my money away at the casino and try to get rich. First of all, you're never gonna get rich at a casino. That's not what I mean by taking risks. I mean doing that thing that you know deep down if you didn't do it, you would regret. You would be laying on your deathbed thinking, why the fuck did I never try that thing? When you're in your 20s, it's the perfect time to take that risk, take that leap of faith and go for it. Because you don't have a family yet. Maybe you do, but you don't have, chances are you don't have a family yet. You don't have kids. You don't have a wife. It's just you. You might as well take that risk and take that leap of faith or you will live with regret for the rest of your life. And me personally, that sounds so horrible. So I took a risk with this YouTube channel. Oh yeah, I took a leap of faith because this is what I thought. I'm like, bro, I've been wanting to do this for a couple of years now. Why would I not? It's time now to just go all in. If I fail, I fail. But at least I'm not gonna be on my deathbed regretting not doing it. At least I tried. You can't go wrong with at least trying. When you're in your 20s and you take a risk and it doesn't work out, good, you learned something and you proved to yourself that you're not a pussy at the end of the day. So take more risks, build your body, quit your fucking addictions, have some self-control. Live for yourself and avoid the party and hookup lifestyle because it will just leave you unfulfilled. That is how you literally crush your 20s. And that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm 24 now and I'm on the right path not to boast, but I don't care anymore, bro. I'm gonna boast. But anyway, the ones that are too soft to even hear this message, they've already clicked off. So I don't give a fuck. But you, bro, you're still watching. I appreciate you and you are on the right path. You really are. With that said, leave a like if you want, leave a comment if you want, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.